It's so exciting to get to this stage. It's exciting getting to this stage. It's exciting to do this stage. I'm excited. I'm Buck Paulson. Hope you enjoy. So I'm starting at the top of this painting, which is the sun area. And what I want to do there is just add a little yellow and white. And I have a knife. The knife is nice because I'm working into the wet paint and it also makes it so I can uh, have just a little texture. Now we'll come right down below the island and show some of that result. Just the path of the sun. It's so effective. Each thing you do on this, it looks so good. And then I'll take the same <coughs> path. Now I have a little yellow ochre and white. I believe what would help a little bit if I just sweep gently across the foam patterns so that they're there, but they uh, are softened. And particularly since you want to feel like they're going up and going over, they're not as defined <coughs> at the top edge as they are on the lower edge. Okay, now in the big wave, I have a mop brush, I like you. So that's quite easy to make the nice blend on it. And then I'll also consider the same thing, song thing, is, uh, putting some highlight on there. But before I do that, I'm going to take a little bit of blue and white. And if I put this on, it looks like moving water. You see the water inside the, the foam. Doesn't take much. Okay, now let's go with the light on there. It's the same light that is already there. I'm taking off of here but it's now quantity. Let's put just a little more white in it. And along with the idea of the straight path, we make sure that that's there. See the impact of that? And I'll, I'll just kind of uh, knife blend, nice accidental knife blend. And let's go with <clears throat> the same light, continuing the path right down on the second wave. What is very helpful is, uh, see, you have this. You don't have a separation, but if I put a little highlight on it, you can see how one is in front of the other. Let's put just a little bit of that light on part of the wave that is closest to the path. And then this wave right here needs to have a little more foam on it. And the other thing that is helpful, the bottom of each of these waves, you have the gray foam, but if we have some little highlight, just starting up on the same leg of the foam pattern, You don't go very high because the light is being blocked out by the uh, shape of the, the big wave. And then what I did there was kind of incidental is, okay, if I just have a couple little sparkles inside, they're not really representing anything other than the movement of the water will capture a little light here and there. Okay, I need to come over on the rock. And the rock will be helped a lot by just putting some little water on it. And then let it, let it drop off. What might help just slightly on the rock is just having 
a smallest amount, and I take in, I'm taking orange and white, which we add up in the sky, just a little bit of sparkle. And I can put a little bit of that same sparkle on the gray, the bluish gray here. So this is the ochre and white, and let some of that come down. Okay, on the tree itself, I'm pretty satisfied with it, but certainly it has some relationship to the type of the day, the time of the day. So I have some of that orangish tone, just the smallest little flavor. I'm, I'm taking a finger and just softening that a little bit so I don't come up there and stop. I think that's pretty good. There is one spot that would be helped. It'd be right in here. This is so important. It's next to the big wave. So it needs to have just a little character in it. I'm using the Viridian green that. Yeah, that's, that's a good choice because you, you can, besides going up there, you kind of go into the tree. Okay, let's take uh, just the smallest amount of light and we'll go, this is be the orangey, orangey raw sienna. Right down, see this is in the path too. I don't want this to interfere with anything, so I'm just softening that a little bit. So that comes down. You might find that the tree, you don't want a lot of accent on it, but I'm going to put just a little bit of character on that. Let's see, I can have some blue, ultramarine blue. Yeah, I, I think that's just necessary. Okay, let's see if we can do any sweeping with this, with the Bunny brush, big blender. That gives me a little idea out there. I, I want to have this go out just a little bit. So what I'm doing this for is to separate the sky from the land. Softening some of these so they're uh, not quite so sharp. You want the sharpness in the big part. I'll soften this a little bit. And I think we have a pretty good little seascape. Oh, thank you for watching. And I'll be very interested in seeing what you do with the instruction. Little stronger. Just straight down, 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 right in here. Okay. That's a wrap. We'll see you next time. I don't know what next time is, but we'll have another subject for you. I hope you've enjoyed Glazes. Funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008. And by the members of Prairie Public.